My name is Matt. I'm one of the pastors here at the church, and today is May 10th, and uh, we want to say to you, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, we're grateful to be able to celebrate today, and uh, make sure you get the chance to FaceTime or uh, video connect with your mom today, and uh, wish her a Happy Mother's Day. Uh, we welcome you this morning to the service uh, for First Church, First United Methodist Church in Collingswood. And uh, we're glad you're with us. And if you wouldn't mind uh, clicking on the link that uh, is the welcome card and just filling that out online and sending it in to us and letting us know of your presence with us today. Uh, it is just good for us to know who's tuning in. Uh, there's a place on there if you have any needs just to kind of write those in. We'd love to be in contact with you. Um, and just kind of connect with you on that. So please make sure you fill out that welcome card um, by the uh, time you sign off on this. Um, this is normally the time of year <laughs> from Mother's Day to Father's Day where we have the baby bottles. And I know most of you remember that and uh, we get those and we uh, uh, collect money for Options Pregnancy Center in Cherry Hill. And so this year, we can't do that, obviously, but uh, we still do want to remember our ministry partners. So um, they have a website. You can just Google Options Pregnancy Center in Cherry Hill, and uh, there's a place on there to donate. There's a place to learn more about what they're doing uh, and how they're helping people during this time. So we just want to draw attention to that. A couple other ministry partners that, we've, that I've been in touch with uh, in the last uh, week or so. Um, Soul Cafe, uh, I've talked to Pastor Sharice down there. Um, they're serving more than 40 new families uh, during this time in their food bank. And so definitely remember them. On the Facebook page, there is a video that uh, me interviewing Pastor Sharice, you can kind of check that out and kind of see what their needs are. Also, I talked to Pastor Clay in Upper Darby. They also have an increased uh, number of people that they are caring for and uh, a couple of the people in their church, including Pastor Clay, are distributing food. They're driving house to house and giving food to those who need it. So just uh, some things to remember about some of our ministry partners. Also, if you remember uh, Collingswood Manor, um, the home just a couple blocks from us, uh, right now they have a number of their patients with the coronavirus. And uh, just want to make sure you remember to pray for them. Um, it's obviously a vulnerable population, um, but uh, Pastor Sam has arranged a time where a number of us pastors are able on Thursday mornings just to kind of check in, do some prayer, uh, sing a hymn with them, and uh, just give them a little bit of scripture. So we are trying to minister there as well. One last uh, announcement before we begin our service. Um, we were scheduled uh, to go to Mexico in July. Well, we're within a couple months of that trip, and uh, we just don't feel like we're going to have the ability to get all the meetings and all the fundraising and all the stuff that needs to be done, done in time for that. So we're not canceling it. We are going to postpone it to 2021. So next year, um, we got a little bit more than a year then. We don't have a date yet. But um, if for some reason it wasn't going to work this year because of timing, uh, we're going to open it back up and we're going to see what uh, um, God wants to do uh, with our church down in Mexico and uh, have a chance to visit down there. So I think that is it for announcements. Uh, enjoy our worship service. <laughs> 